Madison, second presenter. Uh, our second presenter is Alexandra Kompali. Uh, she's PhD student at ARHA, Archaeology and History uh, Art History Department, uh, Gurdjieff School of Social Sciences. And her present, uh, presentation's title is Narrating Our Village Through Its Objects, a workshop of Palia Sagiada for exploring contested rural space in the late Ottoman frontier world. Just a moment, Alexandra, please. I can also- Thank you very much for uh, inviting us in this event. You're welcome. Um, and I think you can open your- Yes. Questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, Are you ready? Yes, I think so. <laughs> we can start. Okay, so um, in this presentation, I'm going to um, briefly refer to my main points of my research for my PhD thesis, but mainly I would like to uh, present you um, the summer workshop that I have been organizing since a while, and finally it is going to be, um, it took flesh, and we are going to uh, have it uh, this summer in the region of Sayada, where my thesis is taking place. So I'm working um, in this region that you see here with a dark color uh, near the Greek Albanian borders, it's the region of the Sprotia. The Sprotia used to be um, a frontier zone of the Ottoman Empire up until 1913 when it entered the Greek state. And it continued being, being a multicultural and very vivid rural space up until World War II. The brutal events of World War II led firstly to the abandonment of many settlements in the region, secondly to very cruel political decisions that forced the Albanian speaking Muslim populations of the area to depart for Albania, and importantly to um, community trauma and social um, um, denial in um, um, dealing with these historical um, aspects this historical phenomena. And um, the case of Thesprotea is only one of the many uh, contested stories we have in the region of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Balkans due to the constant administrating changes and uh, political events of the late 19th, of 19th century and early 20th century. So this is the region and the time period that I'm working uh, as I want to uh, examine further this phenomena and understand these misconceptions that have been created uh, through the political events. And uh, as historical research has been advanced uh, for these topics, unfortunately, arch architecture has been uh, neglected and um, all these spaces, the abandoned spaces have been understudied. Particularly, I'm working, I'm focusing in the abandoned village of Pallasayada. Pallasayada is right here on the Greek Albanian borders, as you can see with the red dot. And it's a very interesting case because it consisted of two parts, attested since the late 14th century. So we are having a roadstead um, on the Adriatic coast of Western Greece and the main village, which is located on the slopes of the nearby uh, hills. So it's a complicated topography and uh, the settlers took advantage of this complicated topography for protection and also hygiene uh, reasons. Um, the village is also in palimpsest of uh, different structures that narrates different um, so, um, historical periods. And the settlers of this village were uh, upper elites that chose to um, settle in a rural area and have their businesses in an international um, in the international. Um, uh, sphere. So they were having uh, their businesses in Istanbul or in other urban uh, Balkan centers or in Trieste or Marseille. And they were negotiating this space with the Ottoman state as is revealed by plenty of um, documents of uh, the late 19th century. So the first um, um, step to approach this abandoned uh, space was architectural documentations. And this is an ongoing um, work that I'm doing with the assistance of a survey engineer. Uh, so I've documented the space and I realized that there is another um, level of contention as well, which is the social contention. So the different architectural faces of the village narrate not only destruction, but also living patterns within the same settlement. That said, the um, very local um, uh, tradition of extended family that wants the family members staying in the same space. Uh, I wanted to examine further this uh, contested uh, space of the neighborhoods of the village, so different levels of contention, 
um, and uh, the approaches in um, archaeological research, such as the multi-site historical and archaeological ethnography, an idea in, um, introduced by different scholars, and I'm mentioning here Yanis Hamilakis, um, is seems falling into place. So ethnography becomes an experience, and in that sense, I wanted to in, um, introduce the local people in this research and make them part of my work for um, also understanding better this space, but also having them understand the space as well. And um, this summer, I managed to find funding from the local um, institutions and local sponsors that believed in this idea. So we're planning to create um, maps of different uh, of, um, multi-layered interrelated maps with different um, information, architecture, the families who lived in their spaces, objects, stories, and photographs for an intangible restoration of the old space of Sayada. And, um, um, and hopefully this goes well, and uh, not only for my research, but also for them, so they will be able to discover themselves, uh, the space they uh, decided oh. to forget. Thank you very much. 